It's Wednesday evening in Ufa, and a vital ministry is underway in the city center. At the Good News Church that meets here in the basement of the police station, Victor and Natasha Slobodyan coordinate the children's ministry, a ministry that includes outreach to kids on the street. Five times a week we meet with kids in the evenings, street kids and homeless kids, to give them food and to tell them about our God. These kids are very difficult kids. These kids are criminals. They live by robbing and stealing. They attack people and they take drugs. People are afraid of these kids. People condemn them. People hate these kids. But we love them. Natasha introduces us to the kids and asks if we can take their picture. They are reluctant as they are ashamed of their condition. They hide from the camera, but tolerate our presence in order to get the meager portion of food that Natasha has brought this evening. They realize that they're really criminals, and they're drug addicts. And they said to themselves, we don't want you to take a picture of us because we don't want to be as we are. And I'm thankful to God that it happened, because this is the first way to healing. They realized that they're sinners, that they're criminals, and they want to change. The California Coalition recently received a letter from Victor and Natasha with an urgent request for prayer. Our homeless kids are being stopped on the streets and clubbed by police for going to our church. Police officers, mostly Muslims, come to teenagers' houses and tell terrible fabricated stories about what the Baptists are going to do to the kids. Victor and I go to the police station to pick up the kids so they don't get beaten. The officers call security to prevent our communication with the kids. We need your prayers. This is a spiritual war, but God is with us. Who can be against us? Victor and Natasha are also in charge of the Christian summer camps that take place every year in Bashkortostan. We have 60 street kids, and 20 of them went to Christian camp and they accepted Christ. Their repentance is very marvelous because the Lord Himself leads them in their way. But it is very difficult for them to change because when they came back from the camp, nobody waited for them here in the city. And again, they have to rob and to steal to find some food. And I can't find a job for them because I don't have money to pay them. I'm very thankful for your participation because it is very difficult to work without prayer support. And sometimes I don't have spiritual power nor inspirational encouragement. And then I really feel your prayers. The new Antioch relationship may have started in the classroom, but it's in the cities and towns where the training has its impact through the ministries of the local church. This is our house of prayer. We call it a greenhouse. God had mercy on us and we can gather here. This is, this is much better than just to gather under an open sky. Especially in winter. Here in the town of Ishimbai, Sergei Loshak's church is the only gospel witness for over 70,000 people. And although they are thankful for a roof over their heads, the congregation can barely be contained in this tiny house. Across town, in this undeveloped field, Sergei hopes to one day build the new sanctuary for the House of Prayer Church. But it won't be built without opposition. Whereas the government supports the Russian Orthodox Church and supports Islam by providing funds for them to build buildings and property on which they can build, the government discourages any support of the Baptist churches there. Even airing TV commercials that say, don't rent facilities to groups like Baptists, which makes it very difficult for them, of course, to, um, to continue their ministry. And so, in some ways, they're under great opposition. Um, the churches are doing what they can to evangelize. 
and evangelize they do. About 60% of the population in Bashkortostan is Muslim. The Muslims and the clerics are very strong and they uh, really try to stop anybody uh, preaching and evangelizing their people. And uh, they don't want the Baptist churches to be established and involved. They really try to stop it and stifle it as much as possible. This is Valentin, a deacon in the Good News Church in Ufa, and a man with a burden for those blinded by the Muslim faith. Born in Bashkortostan, Valentin was raised as a Muslim and understands their traditions and customs. He's brought us here to tour the Cathedral Mosque in central Ufa and takes us deep inside for a glimpse of Muslim culture. When we're having tours like this, when we enter mosques like this, we're praying so that the Lord would give them wisdom and he would give wisdom to us, so that these people could find the peace of God in their hearts, in their families, so they could not only be kept by God, but also blessed by him. In spite of the opposition from the government and other faiths, Valentin faithfully continues his outreach. I ask you to pray and to not forget to pray for us and for our republic, Bashkortostan, as we in Bashkortostan don't forget to pray for you in America.